Okay, day two. When I was playing ball with it, all right, so it's the back of 12. Look, you hear that beep in there? There you go. The beeping is coming through the inverter. And look, the red light's on. And there you go. So, this battery here is only sitting at just over 9 volts. So, that's no use. Let's go and uh, unpack the 200 watt panels. Let's try something. Now, I've unplugged this, but look at this. So obviously someone's no right. And if we go back to the charge controller now. So to be fair, I really am not sure exactly what's happening with this thing. Um, this this is obviously picking up. The sun's just kicking in now, but I, I'll let you see the trees here, look, so... Because of the trees, my panel doesn't get sun just now because the sun's still too low. But because of the light outside generated by the sun, there is actually that is charging. It's picking something up. So uh, I'm not sure if it's um, the drain. Maybe the drain from even the inverter, the inverter itself. So that when it's switched on, the drain through that might be more than what the solar panel is producing. So, as I said, come on, let's go and unpack the big box and let's go and rig the, the 200 watts up. So, the charge controller come up now with an error code of E01. Uh, now, we know the battery was flat, so but I wondered, just to make sure, I haven't done nothing wrong. And that code is telling me that the battery is low and in need of a charge. So, that's a great start. Also, the sun's coming. And I can't see for it, but there you go. <laughs> 200 watts, baby. Now, this has been only going for about oh, half an hour, right? And the, I'm just looking at the charge controller here actually, right? So it was 10.4 volts on the battery when I started this. And under an hour, it's now up to 12 volts. Look at this. So as you can see, they're, they're just sitting propped up. The, the wiring is loose um, to a certain extent, but they're properly wired onto the battery with clips. And they're properly wired into the charge controller. Now I need to get out of the way of the sun here, right? Because I don't like touching this, right? So there you go. That's me. I'm I'm cutting the power down at the back. There you go. 11.6. Now that was 10.4. Not long ago. And the E1 error code has gone. But as you can clearly see, solar panel, arrow point the battery, that movement in the battery, that's the battery charging. So all in all, I'm a happy bunny. I think this actually is going to be a, a bit of a success. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to leave this for a couple of hours. Then we'll come back and just with this wee setup, we'll see how much of a difference it's done to the battery. Bearing in mind, I've took this battery out from the greenhouse and that there, was, there wasn't enough power in it to operate the, the roof light just by sticking it on here for a couple of hours right, this will be very interesting to see if that light will work again fingers crossed right, cup of tea, I'll be back in a minute right, as you can see the, the weather's now diminished quite a bit here it's actually the rain's now come on so I'm, I'm going to want to put all this away but there has been a success Right. So earlier on, there you are now, look, it's just showing 10.8. But you can see by there, look, it's still charging. 
Whereas earlier on it was up to 9.9 uh, amps. That's now only charging at 0.1 of an amp. Okay. But look at this. <laughs> so there you have it. Success. 200 watts. Definitely a big difference to 20. I'm not getting up on that, but I'll do something with that. So that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the next one will be a permanent build someplace. Get the battery up to charge and see what I can run off it. Till the next time. I'll see you. <laughs>